To start this project, you're going to need some hangers, and I'll be starting with four hangers for this project. Now, I could leave my hanger white. That's absolutely an option, but I'm gonna be using this Folk Art Glow in the Dark paint in the color green. And be careful when you're getting glow in the dark paint, you wanna make sure to read the back instructions because a lot of the glow in the dark paints are only good to use with black light. So once again, using my drop cloth, I'm just gonna utilize, first I gotta give it a shake, but I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the fact that I'm just gonna end up making this a mess anyways. So I'm gonna pour a little of the paint just on the drop cloth itself, but you could use a paper plate, a um, cupcake liner, um, a muffin tin, you know, anything you want. And all I'm gonna do is just lightly spread, and I don't need to do both sides, I just need to do one side, but I need to get all of the surface areas. Now, one of the reasons I like folk art paint is um, because it's water-based. And so um, water-based paint is great for washing out. It cleans up nice and easy, so it cleans out of your brushes. If, if you get it on some surfaces, it cleans up nicely. Now, with that being said, be careful not to get it on your clothes because it is hard to get out of your clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then I'm gonna paint all of the other hangers as well. Now that they're all painted, I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry completely. Now that they're all dry, it's time to set them up and we want the ends to touch and the hangers on top to connect. So I need this one to go this way and this one to go this way. So four corners in the center, and then the hooks on either side touching. So as you can see here, I messed up, even crafters make mistakes, and I painted one side on the wrong side, but it's no problem, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this. But before I do, I might as well just adhere these into place. Now you can use any adhesive you want. I'm a big fan of starting with something that holds everything in place so you can figure out the next piece. So depending upon where you're putting these, you can use any adhesive of your choice. I'm going to use hot glue just to hold them into place. Now, if you're just leaving them inside, then you can easily stop here. If you are going outside with them, hot glue will not hold in temperature fluctuation, so you're gonna need something a little stronger. So while all of this is drying, let's talk about some other steps. So you can leave this plain. Again, you could have left them white. You can put the glow in the dark on them. And again, depending on where they're going, maybe you wanna add some ribbon, some flowers, anything like that to them. Um, sometimes you can add these little wooden laser cut dies to it. Um, you can add some rows of gem stickers to give it some bling, or a lot of times they have these little tinier ones that are peel and stick, so that's also an option. Okay, so for this next step, we have put on the hot glue, but now we need to talk about what maybe we would wanna do permanently to make this solid. So you could add E6000, epoxy or silicone, whatever you want. You can add um, bungee, bungees or twisty ties or any of those kind of things to hold it permanently. What I'm gonna be using is some fishing line. Why I like this is because it's still clear. The silicone and E6000 epoxy are also clear. This is just a little faster and makes it a little easier. So the first thing I wanna do are the sides. And we're gonna go ahead and take the fishing line and tie it into place. I'm gonna go ahead and double knot it. And then you just take your scissors and trim off the excess. So the next thing I need for this project is a solar light. And the first thing I wanna do is remove the label. And I love that this one came off really nice. Sometimes they give you a little bit of a struggle. Now, the next thing you wanna do is, the top always comes off of these. So you need to pull out the little tab so the solar light works and check it. Now, the important thing here is, however we adhere this, if you can access this part and you can buy more of this exact same solar light, you can replace this next year if the solar light burns out or whenever it does. You simply place off, remove the old one and put a new one on. Now we're gonna to go to the other side and I'm gonna pull that out so the stake is on the bottom, and then I'm gonna place it right here like this. Now I'm back to the fishing line, so I'm gonna cut off a good sized piece of fishing line, thread it through the center here, and then I'm gonna tie it into place. And again, zip ties or another pipe cleaners, all of these things can work great for you as well. So I'm just gonna finish getting a double knot in here. And then I wanna do it a second time. So I'm gonna pull off 
some more, and this time I'm going through the top up here. So I'm going through these big pieces right here on top, and then I'm gonna utilize this little indent right here on the solar light. So I'm gonna pull through, push the solar light down, get it nice and tight, and double knot it. So now my solar light's pretty secure, but I could also slide it in and out to replace it. So now the last thing we need to do is decide how to hang it. So I can hang it from a corner if you want it to go diagonally, or I can hang fish line between the center, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pull the fish line out and give it a good long cut. And then up here on the corner, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna tie a double knot and I'm gonna slide it all the way up to the end, so. And then I'm gonna pull across to the other side and I'm gonna loop around here to the top corner. I wanna make sure it's good and tight. So I pulled it all the way here and then I'm holding it with my finger and then I'm looping it through again to get that second knot in here. So this one's done. So let's go hang it outside. So outside we have this plain brick walkway. So I've hung a command hook right here on the brick. And now I'm gonna hang my butterfly onto the hook. And I hope this inspires you to make a glow in the dark solar light butterfly out of hangers of your own. To start this project, you're going to need white hangers. There are a lot of variations, but today we're gonna to be using eight white hangers to get us started. I'll also be using white pipe cleaners and I'm gonna cut this into thirds. I'm not looking for any specific length. And then next what I need to do is put two hangers together with their ends touching like so. And I'm gonna take one of the pipe cleaners in the middle here and I'm going to just twist them together so that holds them into place. And then I'm just gonna take the extra pipe cleaner and wrap it around. You could go with smaller if you want. Now I'm gonna set this first one aside and then I need to do this again to each set of two until all eight hangers are done. So now I have all eight hangers twist tied together. So I'm gonna take two of the sections and I'm going to put one end together and then two of the hangers together like so. And I'm gonna take another pipe cleaner and just twist these two hanger sections together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap around the excess like that. And now that this section's done, I'm gonna rotate it here and focus on this next one. So again, pulling the center in, getting both of these to touch, grabbing another pipe cleaner, and twist tying it together. Now, I'm a big fan of wax paper. It helps protect your surface, um, but you could also use other things. I'm just gonna slide this underneath because when I have the next step happen to keep these all together, I want to protect my surface. So just to make it a little more stable, I'm gonna add a little drop of hot glue between each of these hangers. So now that this part is solid, I'll remove the wax paper. And then what I want to do is make sure to catch these outside edges as well. So I just wanna make sure that these edges also are pretty solid. So I'm just gonna add a little hot glue between those and let each outside section have a little reinforcement as well. So the inside is all glued and the outside's all glued. So we basically have our form for our snowflake all complete. And now it's time to add some of the embellishments. So we're gonna start with the center and I'm gonna add a little hot glue to a couple of these corners again on top always add more but I just need a little bit to start with and then I've got one of these dollar store snowflakes they're meant to be ornaments I just cut off the little string that they hang with 
And now I'm just gonna glue that into the center of that. Now, if you want, you can add a little more glue reinforcement in a few other locations just to give it a stronger. So I'm gonna, again, take the string. I don't need this, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. And I'll do that to all of them. And then what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna add a little hot glue to that pipe cleaner and stick this on the pipe cleaner. And lastly, I'm gonna focus on these other pipe cleaners. Now, again, if you don't like the pipe cleaners, you don't have to use those. You could hot glue all along here or use a different glue of your choice. But I have these mini snowflakes and I'm just gonna add a little hot glue to the pipe cleaner and then I'm gonna stick the little snowflake onto that. So we've taken eight hangers, stuck them together, added some snowflakes, and we have a giant snowflake. Now it's time to go set it up and see what it looks like on display. Here it is on our mantle, all ready for the winter season. The great thing about a project like this is that you can keep it up for all winter long versus just one month for a holiday.